Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and today we are having a cute and really simple and fast project. Finally, <laughs> I hope. And it will be our own whole reinforcements that we will uh, use on the tags, for example, or whatever we make holes and want to reinforce them a little bit. So this is like a prototype. And as you can see, I am already um, having a shortage of uh, this uh, little cutie uh, hole reinforcements. So that is why I want to make some more and take you along with me. What do we need for this project? Uh, something to poke the small hole. Uh, circle punch to make uh, the bigger hole. So we will have this uh, shape. Yeah, so this is a smaller hole and this is cut with the circle punch. The same size, yeah, as here. Uh, we also need glue stick. You can use a liquid glue as well. Uh, some papers that we would love to work with and to use it as our um, um, paper, basically, as a background. And some more studio paper. It can be like watercolor, cardstock, or maybe like um, advertisement pieces, because we need something sturdy, which is not like a copy paper to glue um, it on. So for example, here I had like a scrapbooking paper, and I've glued a book page on top, and I will later poke a hole there. Uh, you can do it like that as well. So glue it on a tag and then poke the holes together. That's also possible. So and basically that's it we, that we need. Maybe I will use tweezers. Mm, maybe not. We will see. So that's the equipment for today. Our first step uh, will be to apply paper on a well sturdier surface. And I will use this uh, advertisement piece. Um, and I want to use different paper for my um, background of the whole reinforcer. Like this, for example, is a little bit more sturdy and I can use it on its own, but I think it's too dark and, well, I can use these parts perhaps. We will see. Um, and also, I would love to use this one. I like, I like the colors, uh, but this is a copy paper. I also have... Um, this like a background pieces. I'm not sure. Maybe we can use this one. Let's see. So these are my paintings, and I just uh, you know use uh, some parts of it. So this uh, I can also use a book page. It's well, it's quite sturdy because it's glued together too, and it's fine. Also my painting. I have this interesting book page with like stenciling and spraying. We can also use that. Have uh, this uh, like printable on a copy paper and let's see i think that's enough yeah enough for now uh, so especially because we have such a small piece so what do we need to do is just glue the pieces that we want on a sturdier paper this is quite sturdy as itself but i will re reinforce it anyway so what parts do we want here i like this purple part but i don't want to lose the 12 so let's take this, mm -hmm. put it here, put this aside. Um, I would love to use this one. It will be like here. Also this one. Mm -hmm. This I think I will not use. And I want something from uh, here, maybe this part. So we will have like a neutral reinforcements reinforcers i don't know how uh, how to call them correctly and like a, a little bit of colorful ones yeah so now let's glue them on with just a regular glue stick i will use a glue page for that as well so let's disassemble everything and just apply the glue on top it's a little bit glossy page so maybe a layer of uh, more stronger glue um, won't uh, harm. I think it would be nice. But let's try it this way first. Maybe the glue stick will work, will work just fine. Okay, so let's see. Let's apply more glue. So this is just to make the reinforcer sturdy. And because we don't need the back to, to look uh, beautiful, we can use whatever paper we want. Mm -hmm, fabulous. Then let's do this one. And I leave a little bit of space in between. Okay. 
So let me know, guys, in the comments if you've made uh, your own hall reinforcements, reinforcers, <laughs> because it's really simple and uh, yet requires not a lot of tools. And this way, you will have the reinforcers in whatever color you want, in whatever like um, uh, style you want. You can also use like a stamping and any like techniques you like. So it, it will be really, really unique in this way not like the bot reinforcements of course we can also use like a dice and the same papers but with dice it's a little bit more complicated because you need to um cut this with the die die form uh, one by one so you put one die and run it over numerous times to get a lot of the reinforcers right okay let's see this one here it doesn't really matter where we place things we will cut them anyway so yeah, we also need scissors, perhaps. All right, have a lot of glue everywhere. This is not really precise with what I'm gluing and what I'm not gluing. So getting rid of excess here. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. So in this way, I won't have a lot, right? But I will still have enough reinforcers for me to work on because I don't um, have a lot of tags. <laughs> tax in my projects and uh, yeah we only need one for each tax so it's it's enough for me for some time and whenever i will need them again i will do it the same way so that's what i like about it i think uh, my previous uh, whole reinforcers like um, i had them for maybe a few months and i still haven't run out of them so it's quite um quite a lot of whole reinforcers Okay, getting rid of the white edge, and maybe let's take like a small portion of this paper, like that, perhaps. And glue it here as well. Anyway, flying glue stick. Okay. Great. We can also. Uh, ink each individual hole reinforcer or you can ink it later on when you work with them depends on what you like most um, so now let's uh, let's quickly cut them out so i'm using my bad glue my, my bad scissors because we have a lot of glue going on here i cut them to kind of be able to get to them with my uh, circle punch because papers are this paper is big and so we cannot go to each place in this case we will see if this will be even okay for my circle punch if not we will have to think how to work on that mm -hmm. so i'm finally using this advertisement piece i wanted to use it for a long for a long time but i wasn't able to couldn't find a project for that okay so let's Let's start by this one. So what I like to do first is to poke the holes with my um, hole punch, the small holes, not the big ones. Because in case of the um, big ones, it will be hard to find the center to poke the small hole. So I like to work uh, with uh, first small hole, then big hole. This way it's just easier. But you need to consider how much space you, you need for a bigger punch so we will see if we will be able to uh, punch it in an okay way so this is put as far as i can i think it will be all right this way okay making the hole and also making the hole will i be able to fit one more um let's try maybe we will be able to okay so let's see what we have. If this is too far, I will just cut it. Yeah, so this is a bit too far, so I'm cutting this out and checking. Yeah, so now we just need to find the center. Basically, I'm just eyeballing. As I have said, you can also just punch it like uh, without the middle hole, and you can punch the middle hole later when you apply this circle on a project so it's also available uh, also a possible option 
if you were struggling with finding the center and uh, such. I have a, like a bigger hole for my um, hole punch, like a bigger hole than the middle one, but I cannot get to this paper like that, so it's kind of annoying, and I just, uh, okay, it's fine with the smaller hole, because I usually use the same uh, hole punch for my uh, projects, so it's fine. Here it's not really um, centered, but I don't care too much. Yeah. So this will be a beautiful scrap, I would say, especially if we cut this one. I like to use this uh, in my scrap stash. Okay, so now let's do the same with the uh, other papers. Mm. Will we be able to? I think we will be. So punching some holes. Probably too far, that's okay. Alrighty. And the same here, a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. Now let's check. Yeah, I think that's fine. So punching, and it flies everywhere. It, usually with this uh, circle punch, we have this uh, like a tray for the paper. But in order to see what you're doing, you need to get rid of this tray, just uh, put it aside. And I never put it back because I don't really need it. Paper flies everywhere, but I don't really bother about it. Alrighty. So this is done. We will be able to fit a few more in here, perhaps. Yeah, I think we will be. So let's... Uh, it will be hard to eyeball it. Let's try. Somewhere here, perhaps. If it's not in the middle, it's fine. I think I can live with it. Mm -hmm. We will be able to have it here. I think I will poke this like that and then uh, poke the middle hole right on the project. So a few of this as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this will be a fabulous scrap. Let's uh, get rid of uh, this. I don't like that much of a text here. Okay, so we have already beautiful scraps and a, a lot of uh, hole reinforces just by two scraps of paper. <laughs> like, literally, that's what I like about uh, junk journaling. So I want probably this uh, gold one, not the black and not the red. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Just a little bit here okay great so we have oh quite sturdy because the paper is like 160 grams i don't think we will be able to okay probably too far mm -hmm. yeah it's fine great and this will be a scrap as well so that's that let's just do it this way from the start. So I really want this uh, video to be a shorter one and a really like useful project, not just things that will uh, lay around us for too long. This is a really useful one. So that's what I like about it. So let's say um, this here, this here, and I also don't mind this. Mm -hmm. Maybe even this will work as well. Yeah, probably too far. No, well, actually, no. Not that far. Also quite sturdy. Flying around. Mm -hmm. Quite colorful ones. I like it. Let's try it from here. Ah, my cat wants to interact with me. Watch up, kitty. You know, you want on my lap? Well, let's go. Let's go on my lap. <laughs> So what's going on here? Hmm? Uh, you can't see her. She's quite far from me. Hello, hello, kitty. Yeah, she doesn't usually sit um, <laughs> on my lap, but when she does, I'm quite happy. So I don't really want to uh, tell her to leave. Uh, she is interested in my microphone. Oh, you little cutie.
who wants some time, some quality time, of course. Yeah, sorry guys. <laughs> okay. Oh, she's just sitting here watching what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so interesting. Something fly around. <laughs> My little kitty. Okay. Now let's not get distracted. <laughs> it's quite hard. Quite hard. So what do we have here? Uh, I think I want to cut it here as well. So we want uh, this probably like here somewhere. And uh, here somewhere. I hope we will fit. No, I like this one. Okay, I do it like that so it will not fly around a lot. Okay, we are able to fit it. Good. So, also a scrap piece. Uh, let's see. This one I want probably like a specific part. Only the this green ones. Yeah, and let's cut this black one as well. Kitty. Now you know my cat, uh, her name is uh, Freya, uh, but she is so mischievous. She is like, uh, I'm doing what I want. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I have a hard time with her sometimes, but I really like her. And But because this name is quite you know, strong and it doesn't really fit her and I decided to, well, I usually call her just cat or kitty or anything like that in my language. <laughs> it sounds really cute and um, with this S sound in my language, like Kisa, and this is uh, the word. And I really, really enjoy just calling her Kisa and yeah, that's my jam. <laughs> I like it. I hope she doesn't mind. She has a name, but I don't really use it. I hope she is okay with that. Her name is Kat. <laughs> and I like I like it. If uh, like if I knew that uh, she won't like this name won't be won't fit to her, uh, I wouldn't name her like that of course, but when you just take the kitty, you don't know what her personality will be. She is so like a white uh, blank page for you and you don't really know what to expect and when you are you, when you spend some time with her you realize her tr true character but it's already kind of too late to change the name so i just stick with the freya and call her cat <laughs> yeah that's uh, like a funny story for you guys Do you have this uh, sometimes? Maybe, maybe you also call her, uh, not her, call your own your pets just by the species name, like a dog or a cat. I think rarely, but in my country it happens quite often that we call our pets just well for dogs, not really because dogs are used to their names, right? But for cats, it's a really a usual thing to call them just cat. Well, in my language, it sounds better than just cat, but Still, I think most of people uh, tend to, uh, tend to use just uh, you know regular names, like for example. Well, I actually don't know what are the regular names for like in the English-speaking countries, but for um, for our country it is like uh, murka from the mur pur sound mur murka, or also musia. <laughs> it's cute, but I really don't like it. Uh, but these are really um, all the time names for the cats. And yeah, if you don't want to think too much uh, about the name of your cat, call her Murka. Or we also name our orange cats Peach or Peachy. Well, I think that's the same for you because of the um, like fur color. Yeah, so that's uh, something that happens all the time. It's not necessarily bad. I like the peachy, one, peachy name. <laughs> my cat just took a scrap of my table and wants to play with it. Of course, of course you want to play with it. <laughs> all right, let's put this here and try to get rid of all the small stuff from my 
table and my mat and my gluing paper. We have a lot, and th this looks colorful indeed. So, review. We have a lot of interesting ones, I would say. I really like them all. It depends on the paper you cho you have chosen, but I'm I'm pretty sure you will initially choose the paper you like, and uh, the, in this way you will like the whole reinforces. So as you can see, compared to the uh, prototype, these holes are smaller. But uh, this is the device I usually use to poke my holes, so that's actually okay. It will be the size of the hole. Like with this one, I will have this hole bigger than the hole I will make. So if this will be on a page or on a tag, I will have this around this uh, much paper showing through this hole reinforcer. That's why I don't really tend to use it uh, anymore. Okay, so this is a ready project. Quite fast one, right? And we have a lot of beautiful scraps. I really enjoy using them in collages. That's really fabulous. So just try it out. You'll see that it's really beautiful. Let me maybe fit one here. Let's try it out. Or maybe I just um, I will poke the whole pocket like that. Yeah. So we will use it later. Yeah, great. I really liked it. It's so short and yet so pleasing. And still, you do something creating, uh, cre creative, and you are pleased with that, and you are relaxed. And this is uh, this is all what we want, right? Be relaxed when we are doing some hobbies so yeah that's it thank you for your attention guys um let me quickly show them to you maybe a little bit close i really like this one with the bricks looks cool also like the gold ones well they were gold initially yeah so from my painting like looking quite neutral we also have some colorful ones which we can use in the colorful projects some are muted, some are a little bit more colorful. Yeah, so these are quite colorful. These are a little bit more muted, but still quite a, quite a beautiful paper. Okay. We also have some book pages. I will show this to you. These were just stenciled and sprayed. So I sprayed through the stencil, like a mica stencil, a mica spray, focus spray. Yeah, so that's that with this gold sheen to it and we have some like book pages i will also ink them and they will look similar to this one yeah so here we have a little bit of an inked edge but you can also do it before the project itself so yeah that's that thank you for your attention i hope you liked this quick and really simple project but in this way you can really make your whole reinforcers unique and it will it will, it will be different from others it's really quick as i have said and you will have a bunch that's for sure <laughs> it will last me for months maybe even more oh if you make tags on a daily basis perhaps you will finish it sooner but if not that's really a big amount and it really depends on how much paper you use so if i will put more paper i can i can do more i can even cut through here as well yeah so even more of the whole reinforces so yeah, thank you for your attention, guys. I hope to see you soon in my next video. I'm sure I'm not yet uh, sure what I will do there. Um, so if you like the video, please put the thumbs up, share this video with your friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello again, guys. I just wanted to show you uh, the example on how we can use it. So this is the whole reinforcer from my. Um, previous like a batch <laughs> and yeah that's how i use it i just put it on the tag and uh, poke the hole and sometimes i even add the eyelet it's not well it's optional up to you if you want to do that i like the look sometimes and because i have some gold elements to here yeah so that's how i use the whole reinforces maybe if you're not familiar with uh, them yeah so bye bye once again <laughs>